Hi Aquarius! Welcome to your reading Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Aquarius in this reading will be focusing on your person. We will take a look at your person's feelings, their actions, their intentions, um, their actions, their intentions, their feelings. We have a Four of Swords. Mm. So there might be a little communication between you and this person. We will also take a look, Aquarius, at your connection with this person and we will pull some messages of love for you, Aquarius, and for this connection, okay? Okay? Okay. Yes, someone feels um, limited, trapped, blocked. Okay, let's see. Could you please show me with whom we are connecting today for Aquarius? Could you please show me this person? Could you please show me this person? Could you please show me this person? Person on, on Aquarius's mind? Could you please show me Aquarius's person? Could you please show me this person? Could you please show me this person? Way too many. We have a five of pentacles, Aquarius. Okay. Could you please show me this person? Could you please show me this person, please? Okay. Five of Pentacles for Aquarius, this person. King of Wands, High Priestess. Page of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. And we have the Tower. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have a King of Swords. So Aquarius, as, as much as there might be a little communication or no communication between you and this person, in their overall energy, this person wants to clear an air with you and they do want to talk with the Ace of Swords. So we have, you might be dealing uh, Aquarius with Pisces. I have strong Scorpio energy as well. This person is missing you, Aquarius. They feel very sad and they are longing for you. But I feel that the Aquarius, that this person has a, they, this is someone who, who can be quite pra proud with this King of Wands and they're hiding it with the High Priestess. They're hiding the fact that they do miss you. They want to appear that uh, they might be, you know, unbothered, that things are okay. But deeply inside, this person is missing you. They are longing for you. This is someone who is trying to listen to their intuition. Or they might be looking for some guidance. They're trying, you know, maybe they are uh, seeking some sort of advice. I see um, a bit older lady here. They might be asking for an advice. It might be a friend, mother, auntie or, 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 or grandmother. It won't, of course, resonate with all of you, but it can be a case for someone here. They're trying to kind of, uh, they're trying to listen to their intuition. But what is coming forward very strongly here is someone who wants to communicate, who wants to talk with you about something. They're longing for you. They are missing you. I feel this person, you know, they don't have, uh, you, are, you are giving or you, you have been giving this person a big uh, emotional support. Okay, this is someone I feel who needs emotional support. And I also feel this is someone who might have problems with abandonment. And so they might have this abandonment issues. Therefore, they can be quite clingy with this energy. However, I feel that there was some sort of falling out between the two of you, Aquarius, with the tower. I feel strongly for some of you, it was just uh, you, you, you are not on the same page with this person. You are disagreeing here about some sort of uh, fundamental views. You have different views here. You want to approach, I feel, certain matters in a different way than this person. This is what I am seeing here with this Three of Pentacles energy. Sorry, Aquarius. But with the Page of Pentacles, Aquarius, I feel very strongly see that um, there is a potential, this person sees a potential. So no matter what might happen between the two of you, Aquarius, this person still sees a potential that you can work things out, that things can be worked out between the two of you, okay? 
because what I am seeing also sensing here that this person it might be quite difficult for this person to be a team player this is someone who is very proud and I feel that if you had this falling out with this person this person deeply inside feels very lonely they are longing for you they are missing you here but uh, they are trying to keep a you know a strong and 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 good face so they are trying to appear completely differently here as to someone who you know in this king of wands they know exactly what they want uh, they aren't bothered they are focusing on their matters because they have so much going on for for, for themselves there is so much going on for them oh should, i should have said that but deeply inside this is someone who is is hiding those feelings they do feel that way they miss you they, they do want to work things out between the two of you. They want to talk. But I feel very strongly, Aquarius, that this is a situation where you are not on the same page with this person. You are disagreeing here. This, you might see them, Aquarius, as someone who is not a team player. But in spite of what might happen again between the two of you, this person in, with this page of pentacles, they still see potential. For both of you to 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 work things out between the you know between the two of you, that things can be healed, that things can work out. But for now, I feel that you know this person that there is a no contact situation, or this person gone quiet, or they detach themselves, or they acting distant in a, in a kind of distant distant ma ma manner. Okay. So let's take a look at Aquarius. Let's see your connection with this person. Could you please show me Aquarius' connection with this person, please? We have Eight of Cups. We have a Hermit. And we have the World. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mutual Energy. We have Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Okay, could you please show me more for Aquarius' connection with this person? Aquarius' connection with this person. Aquarius' connection please with this person. We have a Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Knight of Swords, I would like to, okay, yeah, okay. So Aquarius, you might be dealing with Virgo. I have very strong with the world fixed sign. So it can be another Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy as well. And I have also Aries, okay. On your side, we have an Eight of Cups, we have Hermit, the world. You went within Aquarius. I feel that uh, you, you also detach from this individual. You, we have Eight of Cups. For some of you Aquarius, you walked away because you realized that this person doesn't want to be a team player. This is someone who wants to have an upper hand. They don't want to collaborate with you. They are not on the same page. Therefore, I feel that you made, uh, you went within and you've kind of made a um, very, um, mature decision with this hermit to detached essentially it shows aquarius that you might came into some sort of realization that it's time for me to go because i out i outgrown the situation and i ended certain cycle with this individual with the world because the world shows that something ended here from on your side therefore for some of you Aquarius I feel that essentially you outgrown the situation you decide that you went within you you I feel that you kind of you took your time and you you, you thought about the situation you know it wasn't a spontaneous um, kind of decision to de to detached I feel it took some time and you, you, you took this very mature decision based on your experience with regards to this individual and this connection and you decided to disconnect because you might felt that there is no, 
that you can't see any change, that there is no change for this connection to evolve. It might be a case for some of you, indeed, with this world. But with the world cut, there is this sense of acceptance. I feel that, you know, you've kind of realized that if that's the case, Aquarius, and essentially something ended here between the two of you, I feel that, you know, you feel quite, you feel, it's not that you feel 100% okay, because I feel that there is some sort of sadness attached to this situation, because they are showing me here um, a connection that uh, both people have known each other for some time, but someone here is just so fixated on their on their habits and the way they approach connections and this this particular relationship and connection that you've kind of realized that you don't want to waste your time because at some point you might felt that this connection it's a waste of time because nothing is happening and you want to approach something here with a complete in your energy you want a connection where there is growth that there is also that you can build something here with someone mm -hmm. therefore for some of you you made this very clear very mature based on your experience decision that you know it's time for me to walk away because that doesn't make me feel happy on emotional level mutual energy we have a nine of a pentacles and eight of wands you can expect communication aquarius from this individual And I feel Aquarius that uh, what I'm getting here very strongly with this nine of pentacles that um, I don't see you bothered about it, but I also don't see you, um, how can I say it? Um, um, oh gosh, I lost the word. Um, making much effort, <laughs> okay. This is essentially what I'm sensing here with this Nine of Pentacles. I feel that, you know, you are now focusing on yourself, on your matters. It would be nice to hear from this person to kind of, you know, I feel that, you know, you would like to see them trying very hard to fix the situation or to even talk about the situation. For some of you, I feel Aquarius that you don't mind being in touch with them. I can tell you one thing, this person wants to be in touch with this Eight of Wands. But I don't see your Aquarius wanting to be very much or trying to make some sort of effort to, to be uh, in a relationship with this person. I don't see it that way. I see you in this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy, which essentially shows very self-sufficient energy and being single and feeling, feeling good about it. Because I feel that Aquarius, you are minding your own business with this energy. I, as mature, m mutual energy, Nine of Pentacles also shows that this person can be quite selfish. So, you know, it goes both ways. This is the two-way street. If this person is quite selfish, I, I feel Aquarius that you came into conclusion that, well, it's a complete waste of time me fighting for this connection. Therefore, if they want to be in touch, they can be in touch with me. But... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm changing my attitude. I'm not going to put any more effort, you know, as, 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 as much as this person is, is willing to give. I feel you coming from this place, Aquarius. On this side, we have a Knight of Pentacles and we have Three of Cups. This is someone who wants to reconcile with you. Mm -hmm. It also shows friendship, so I feel that you might know this person for some time. It, it might start you being, you know, in a friendship group. It might start that you have, you've been friends, but within that, it develops into something more. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who's taking days time because this is the slowest moving night, Aquarius, and I feel that yes, something here took way too long, and. Therefore, you, it was very difficult to see that things are going to change. And this person has that sort of kind of energy. They are in the energy of Knight of Pentacles when it comes to disconnection. 
it is stable it is it is it, 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 nothing but it also brings that sense that nothing is happening or something takes so long i feel aquarius that this person really wants to be in touch with you and they do want to be uh, again uh, treated as someone close to you with this three of cups because i feel that there was some sort of falling out or there was some sort of understanding between the two of you aquarius that things are not working and you are not on the same page therefore you kind of make this this person known or they kind of read it as you are indeed are detaching whatever the case might be here Aquarius so please take it as it resonates okay because we are connecting with collective energy so there will be many scenarios cross watches for Aquarius you are very much welcome but the roles can be switched okay so it might play from your perspective so it might be something that Aquarius did to you so it essentially can be that Aquarius are that you decided to disconnect or you decided to kind of, you know, take a step back and distance yourself from Aquarius because you felt that nothing is happening and there is no space for, for some sort of change or uh, some sort of progress when it comes to this connection. And yes, indeed, I feel Aquarius that, that you might feel that indeed that, that, that this person is not making much effort and something here takes so long their energy is, is night of pentacles. Slow, slow, taking forever. Not, not rushing in. <laughs> but Aquarius, things are changing because we have a night of swords. As an overall energy for this connection, someone feels here an urge to, to have a new beginning, to approach things in a different way. And I feel this is your this is this is your person, this person. As much as yes, they don't want to rush in, they have a plan to be closer to you, again, to be in, in some sort of maybe as a friend. Deeply inside, this person feels an urge to approach you because they do want to have a new beginning with you or they want to be given a chance for something new here when it comes to your connection. They want to take a leap of faith. And it can be a communication, it can be sending a message, it can be even being in relationship. But, um, yeah, they do miss you, Aquarius. They miss you very, very much. Their feelings. We have a ten of wands. Could you please show me this person's feelings? We have a six of pentacles. Uh, sorry, six of wands. Could you please show me more for this person's feelings towards Aquarius? Could you please show me more for this person's feelings towards Aquarius? We have a Knight of Cups. Of course we have a Knight of Cups, right? <laughs> One more, please. This person's feelings towards Aquarius. And we have a Nine of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Four of Wands, Aquarius. And we have a Queen of Wands. This person is burdened. They are stressing out. They feel exhausted. They want to reconcile Aquarius. This is someone, Aquarius, who wants to have your attention. And this person cares a lot what you, about your opinion, how you seize them, or how you, uh, what do you, they, are, they care about, how, for instance, this person might have many times asked you about what do you think, what they should do, they, they might have, you know, asking you for an advice. This person cares a lot about your opinion and how you seize them. And, you know, f interestingly enough, I feel that this person gives you a completely different impression that they don't care. But no, nah, that deeply inside they do care. They do care. With the Knight of Cups, this is someone who wants to, you know, they feel love. They want to... Reconcile. They, this person wants to be in touch, Aquarius. They want to be in, in touch. They want to feel this kind of a flirty energy, affection from you. And this is someone who wants your attention. They want to be in the center of your world and they do want your attention. 
they want your affection they want to feel loved by you but this is someone Aquarius again who can be quite self-centered self-absorbed and they think about themselves as as they are great with this nine of cups they also see you as their wish fulfillment but I feel this is I don't know this is someone Aquarius who is very burdened I feel by their past so they're carrying some sort of baggage okay with this ten of wands and this baggage is um, is affecting this connection therefore this person I strongly feel Aquarius that this person at some point might make you feel that they are unavailable fully for you and it can it it's some sort of it shows some sort of condition this person is conditioned by, by by their past and I feel also by their present they want you they want uh, they want uh, to be present in your life even in the form of friend being a friend okay they don't want to let you go they see you as they wish fulfillment but I feel that this person somehow they are carrying a baggage you might not fully know what this baggage is I feel that you kind of you kind of you know have some sort of knowledge or you can you kind of suspect what's going on and and that's why you know here your energy is showing that you've kind of thought about the situation and you know seeing this person's dynamics and what they're giving into connection and their baggage as well i feel that you decided to kind of distance yourself to not give too much into this connection because again i i feel aquarius that you don't see much progress when it comes to this uh, relationship and this person is carrying a baggage and there is a reason why for some of you Aquarius, with the Queen of Wands and Four of Wands, this is someone who is already in a connection. This is someone who is married. And they might telling you that they are not, but that's not true. And I feel that you kind of know that. That's why it can be one of the factors that you decided to walk away or distance yourself it won't resonate with all of you but it can it, I, I feel that it's someone's story here that you suspect this person might have claimed no I'm not you know or I'm divorced or you know we are not talking we are separated mm. and you are, might be suspecting no 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 you kind of you know put one dot to another you and that kind of makes sense and you feel uh-uh that you are not telling me the whole truth here. Mm -hmm. I can tell you one thing, Aquarius. This person is stressing out uh, that this no contact situation it's 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 making them exhausted because this is someone who just urge who who feel this urge to be in touch with you. It seems like this person is addicted to you. <laughs> Aquarius they do want your attention they do want to talk to you they want to feel this affection this care that you are giving them that you care this person wants you to care about them they do have feelings for you they see you as they wish fulfillment but there is some sort of passive energy attached to this situation overall when it comes to uh, this person's feelings for some of you this person is already involved with someone else having stability somewhere else but I strongly feel with this Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands, this person deeply inside, they want to be in a relationship with you. This is someone who, 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 who knows that they would be very happy with you, that you would give them so much happiness. This is 1111 card as well, Aquarius, so might be dealing with a twin flame. This person is essentially your twin. They put you on a pedestal, Aquarius, with this Queen of Wands. They see you as someone who is very desirable, uh, who is, they match. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. But this person has secrets. They are not telling you the whole truth. Or they haven't been telling you the whole truth. And that's why at some point I feel you decided, so that I, I'm moving on. It's just, it's nothing is happening. They are just the way they are, they are, they are. It doesn't make sense what they are telling me. And I feel you are spot on about this. 
you're coming from the place of you know you are in a hermit energy this is a very wise energy this is knowledge this is this is someone who's not reckless who who's not operating from from you know being having a bad temper this is a very precise energy energy that deciding to, to you know take a step back go go within and think about it think about the issue and then based on facts making a decision and i feel that's the case here but they do have feelings for you aquarius this is someone who wants to be in relationship with you and and the lack of contact it's 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 heavily weighting on this person's shoulders they do want to be in touch with you they are craving your attention and your affection could you please show me this person's intentions towards aquarius could you please show me this person's intentions towards aquarius we have four of swords the moon oh gosh we have a seven of cups at the bottom of the deck we have a five of uh, five of swords and king knight sorry knight of swords aquarius this person's intention is to confuse you four of swords the moon and the seven of cups they want you they want to be in touch with you they want to be your friend they want to be around you they want to feel your energy Aquarius but this is someone who is uh, who's not coming from the place of a uh, truth with the five of swords uh, there is a mind game attached to this and that's the intentions the intention is essentially to play a mind game and confuse you look we have the moon and we have a seven of cups you might be dealing here Aquarius with someone who is unstable emotionally unstable or it's very moody and again th this this is someone who's conditioned by their past they are operating from this place they are confusing they are not telling the whole truth but i feel aquarius that you're over it you are you are over it with these cards now you you kind of thought again you thought about this and you detached and it was a s rational decision based on your own clarity about the situation this person's intention they feel an urge to come forward but again they are coming with the five of swords playing mind games in the form of confusion the moon to the seven of cups confusion lacking clarity this person wants to confuse you because they want you to be di to have to direct they fo your focus on them because this person knows that it, lots of things are happening in your life they do they know that you know they they they, they, they see you as this queen of wands energy very desirable energy they know that you are attractive they know that you are getting attention uh, and this person is craving your attention and your attention only they want they want to be in the center of your attention they don't want you to be focused on different things oh god forbidden you know different people no 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 this is a very clean energy but they are coming their intentions are to confuse you why because this person has secrets and i feel that for some of you aquarius indeed this person is in another relationship i don't feel they are happy i don't see it because i see them being focused on you they want your attention they want your love they want to be loved by you they do see and they see you as they wish fulfillment but again i felt with this knight of pentacles something takes too long B meaning this person their actions are somehow blocked and when i was shuffling the cards we have i feel the four of uh, as i remember four of swords and we had eight of swords blockage there is a blockage this person is blocked and there is a reason why they are they're holding secrets and i feel that it is for some of you it might be you know that this person has a different background or there is a tradition family involved in the situation but it's very strongly it's coming forward uh, another relationship aquarius 
this person wants to confuse you i don't feel that they will be able to do that now look you have a clarity of of fault you have a you have a clarity about the situation you might be dealing with pisces aquarius this person wants to confuse you because they want you to be focused on them let's take a look at their actions could you please show me this person's actions could you please show me this person's actions could you please show me this person's actions towards aquarius okay you see we have this eight of swords we have the temperance you might be dealing with sagittarius we have a seven of pentacles we have the death card and we have a four of wands once again might be dealing with a twin flame ace of cups aquarius and the magician so aquarius you might be dealing with scorpio i have sagittarius energy and i also have gemini hmm. they want to bring peace they want to bring some sort of balance to this to this situation for some of you this person wants to reconcile with you they feel very attached to you but Aquarius, this is someone who is invested here. It's invested in this connection with you, but they are also invested in somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere else. With the Eight of Swords, this person is blocked. They can advance as much as they can, but this person has a limit. I don't feel Aquarius that they can um, have a long-term commitment with you, or they or be in an official relationship with you they feel blocked they feel unable to do that and this is very interesting because we have the death card and we have the four of pentacles aquarius this person will communicate with you okay with the magician they're trying to manifest you i feel this this person will will use everything what they have in their power when it comes to word or they're trying essentially to convince you that they love you and they want to have this new beginning in love with you represented by the eight ace of cups therefore aquarius you can you can expect a message of love love call or some sort of confession or this person saying that they've missed you and they do want to be given another chance so please take it that it resonates aquarius but this person is trying to manifest you and they want to and they will take initiative essentially to have this new beginning in love or to express their feelings or to apologize or to be in touch with you i feel this person will show you some sort of affection they will they will compliment you they will say that you look fantastic because they want to be next to you they want to feel your energy aquarius and what i'm seeing here very visibly aquarius that this person will tell you that it's over that their connection or if you kind of you know if you if you start talking about it in that kind of unbothered manner because i feel that you are over it but if you kind of mention it for your own amusement aquarius and you say uh, oh you know how the things are going on a you know emotional level um he will say oh, he will say so he might be dealing with a man because that just came forward so I might be doing reading for for a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a case, of course, because it's an energy. However, Aquarius, I strongly feel that this person will say that they ended here something or some sort of major change happened and they will say, listen, you know, I want to be in a relationship with you or I want us to be to be given another chance. Or I'm no longer involved with this another individual. Can be many scenarios, but this is essentially what 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 spirit is showing here. I want to be with you. Therefore, Aquarius, you can expect this person to 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 make a move. Okay, they will make a move, but please be aware, Aquarius, and I feel that you are. That at the end of the day, this person is limited in 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 their actions with regards to this connection. They are invested in you, absolutely, in this connection, but they are also invested somewhere else. Let's pull some messages of love. 
Aquarius for you and for this connection. Let's see. Could you please show me messages of love for Aquarius? Messages of love for Aquarius. We have soulmate, decision, friendship, boundaries. At the bottom of the deck, what did I say? Different pages. You see, that's what I was getting. That you are disagreeing fundamentally here about something with this individual. We had this energy of three of pentacles and the tower. You're on a different pages. This is a very strong soul connection. We have a soulmate, Aquarius. I feel that you do feel that, you know, whatever you want to call it, it is quite, you know, I feel that you feel very drawn to this person. This person feels the same about you. And yes, we have the friendship card. That's what I was getting. That for some of you, it was this person has been your friend, but within time, it evolved into something, something more. But I feel very strongly, Aquarius, that this person will come back and they will try to be your friend because they do want to be next to you. There, there is some sort of decision that I feel that you you will decide what to do fairly soon about this connection or you will be put in a, some sort of kind of a situation that you will have to decide what to do with this connection okay boundaries firm, firm boundaries are needed now mm -hmm. because this person is not telling you the whole truth they're coming here with confusion in order to kind of make you feel stuck because they want you to be stuck on them because this person is stuck on you <laughs> Therefore, I feel that for some of you Aquarius, this person, and you know that, this is something that you know, that this person likes to push their boundaries. They try to kind of, they, they like to try their luck. And Spirit is saying that firm, firm boundaries are very needed in order for this person to know their place and how you see this connection. And I feel, Aquarius, that you are over it. I, I, with these cards... You have this understanding what this person is about. You feel for some of you that this person is not fully available, that they, they are unable to give you what you tru truly deserve. And they are just very cleaning. They are cleaning on your energy. They want you to be focused on them because they see you as this perfect person for them. A wish fulfillment, queen of wands, beautiful, desirable, confident energy. They see you as they match, but they feel blocked. And there is something that you are fundamentally both disagreeing with each other. You don't share the same vision. I strongly feel also with the soulmate, Aquarius, that you know, when, when you decided to detach, I feel that you are attracting, that you decided to maybe move into a to the new soulmate or you're attracting a new soulmate into your life because in this lifetime we can we can have many soulmates of course but let's see without a doubt this is a very strong soul connection and that's what spirit is pointing but you are not on the same page with this individual and they are holding secrets here let's take a look let's see an outcome Oh gosh, we have a King of Cups. Let's take those. Okay, let's put it that way. We have a King of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a Four of Cups. So King of Cups is a nice energy. It's a positive energy. It shows it essentially give you a sign spirits giving you a sign Aquarius that this person is in love with you that they do love you they have a big amount of of emotions big amount of feelings for you 
you might be dealing with Scorpio Pisces Cancer with this King of Cups. King of Cups, I feel like Aquarius, that as an overall outcome, you can expect this person to express some sort of feelings. They because they are they are coming here with communication. And I feel this person can't stand the fact that, you know, there might be a no communication and that you are detaching. They can feel it. They can feel it that, you know, your energy is focusing on something else or even someone else. And that's why they are coming back here, Aquarius. You can expect some sort of form of, of, of affection, emotion, feeling communicated from this person with this King of Cups. And as it is a positive energy, I, I feel Aquarius that, you know, you'll be quite, you, it will make you feel nice with this King of Cups. For some of you, you'll, you'll make, a, this person will make amends. They, they will try to kind of come back and apologize or they will, they will try to, they will make some sort of an effort to, to bring balance, balance to this connection. However, for the overall energy for this reading, we have a four of cups. It shows Aquarius that indeed this person might be unable to give you what you truly deserved. I feel that during this connection at some point this person made you feel unhappy and you felt dissatisfied, disappointed, bored and emotionally depleted. I feel that you tried very hard to make this person happy but um, you you took their actions i feel this person made you feel that rejected that they you you felt rejected by this person and no matter how much and how hard you tried to make the situation better for both of you it wasn't always wasn't good enough for this individual that's why i feel that you are detached in aquarius you are moving yeah you, you are moving on because you have this higher understanding that there is something that you are fundamentally disagreeing with this person and this person doesn't want to they don't want to when it comes to this particular thing i don't feel that they want to be a team player they are fixated on their views or actions or how they see you know their future or something of this kind aquarius here and the problem is that this person has secrets that's why the starting point here is how how this person wants to build something stable if they are operating from the place of playing mind games with you nevertheless with the king of cups as an outcome for immediate future i feel there will be something will happen here aquarius and you will feel quite good about it okay i would leave it here aquarius Thank you so very much for being with me. I truly hope that this reading was of help. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. I truly appreciate you, Aquarius. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.